Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, has lost some of his patronages and his privileges and his military affiliations and all of that stuff that I don't understand that takes place over there in England. But it's a big deal. In fact, it's such a big deal that Prince Andrew deleted all of his social media accounts. You can't use that type of stuff on your online profiles when you don't have them. If you missed the story, this is what we saw from the royal family. This is the British account or the English account on Instagram. And it says, with the Queen's approval and agreement, of course, this is a royal communication. It says, the Duke of York's military affiliations and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen. The Duke of York will continue not to undertake any public duties and is defending this case as a private citizen. Whoa. And so that's like not a good thing to wake up to in your inbox. The royal family's got 437,000 likes on this thing. And so I'll admit I'm an American person. I don't really understand a lot of this stuff, but I can understand the consequences of being thrown out of royalty more or less. And so this is what happens on Instagram with you are at the Duke of York on Instagram. This account doesn't exist anymore. Prince Andrew just had to eliminate that one. We see over here, he made a different account private. Now, I think this is where we run into some of the problems, the HRH, like his Royal Highness. Like if he's not actually his Royal Highness anymore, then he can't use that because that's a very special privilege. And so what happened, of course, this is a big account, 219,000 followers, the Duke of York dot org. The official Instagram account is now private because I don't think he's allowed to use that stuff. Twitter got the boot at the Duke of York. This account doesn't exist either. Try searching for another. A website was able to give us a summation of what was on that Twitter account it says his personal Twitter. It featured royal imagery and use of the HRH style, which is why it had to go. Using the Wayback Machine, his account was at least active until January 16th. Its bio read, the official Twitter account of the Duke of York. Tweets sent by HRH are signed I, or A-Y, right? So uh, you can see HRH, His Royal Highness. Now, he had over 250,000 followers, 12,000 tweets, and the display photo was the coat of arms, which I think may have been this one, right? The coat of arms over from Instagram, probably the same thing that he had on his Twitter account. Display photo was the coat of arms, cover photo showing the royals at the trooping of color. And so people, of course, all over the interwebs are very happy about this. You can see on Instagram, a lot of likes, a lot of good decisions from somebody here. Another one, well done, queen and team. This man is an individual and chose his own path. Good decision. Someone else says, about time from the royal watcher. Says, she's always making her duties her first priority from snowy petals. Take his title too comes from somebody else. Thank you for your strength, grace, and leadership, your majesty. And somebody else says, it was about time. Johnson says, I'm so sad for the queen. She's mourning the loss of her husband, and she has to contend with this mess. She deserves better. My thoughts and prayers are with the queen. Somebody else says, this is the right decision, and my heart goes out. Now, learning a little bit more about this, right? What are the consequences of this, right? So Prince Andrew loses these rights, Queen Elizabeth removes his military titles, his patronages, amidst a sex abuse lawsuit. Federal judge refused to dismiss the abuse case, and then the queen revoked all of these things. Andrew, 61, is the queen's second son, was soon by Gouffre, 38. We've been following that case very closely here. Alleges that Andrew abused her in New York in 2001 when she was 17. Of course, we all know that photo. She claims that Andrew's friend Epstein trafficked her to him and the prince knew it. This move now, so the, the queen disassociating, is now disassociating him from his much prized military affiliations. It's been a long time coming, but gained force in recent weeks because his case did not get dismissed. Many senior members of the royal family told honorary military, hold honorary military associations they're distributed by the monarch as part of the job of being a royal. Andrew was part of the Royal Navy, was a pilot, served in the Falklands War 1982, returned as something of a hero to many people who were royal fans. In the wake of the developments, British military leaders complained publicly and anonymously to the media that the prince was embarrassing them and the, these links to Epstein were untenable. 
More than 150 military veterans asked the Queen to strip Andrew of his honorary military roles, expressing that they described him as their upset and anger in an open letter published in The Guardian. Monarchy's skeptical newspaper reported that the palace refused to comment. Now, the prince did not lose his title Duke of York as a result of the announcement. The palace did not say whether he loses his HRH status, but multiple British media outlets like the BBC and the Telegraph reported he's not going to be able to use it in any official capacity. Queen's other grandson, or Prince Harry, a former member of the British Army, was forced to relinquish his military associations and royal patronages when he gave up his royal role and moved to California. Harry, the son of Andrew's brother Charles, agreed not to use HRH in connection. Andrew held at least eight honorary military titles, Colonel of the Grenadier Guards and Colonel-in-Chief of the Royal Irish Regiment. Highly respected titles in the general scheme of things, says Goldstone. So, bummer for Prince Andrew. Big victory for everybody else there who likes to... Uh, uphold integrity and tradition and things like that. But that's not the only thing that Prince Andrew lost now, is it? Now, in Canada, they're also changing the name of his high school or the high school that had his name. Canada's Prince Andrew High School is now the latest humiliation for him as they change their name. Prince Andrew High School is in Nova Scotia. You can see here he lost another honor. The principal of the Prince Andrew High School said, emailed his families on Wednesday with, quote, exciting news that the school is finally ditching the scandal-ridden royal's name. The name of a school should be reflective of our school community and uphold our values as a safe and inclusive learning space for all, said Principal Craig Campbell. Our hope, he writes, is to continue to build our identity as a positive, supportive, and respectful community with a name to match. The school in Dartmouth was named after Andrew in 1960 soon after he was born. You can see a picture of it here. It looks nice. They're going to build our identity from, from Google Maps. So that's going to be changed. And it's not going to stop there. I mean, there's even people petitioning now on change.org to remove this guy from the Earl of Inverness. Now, as I was on this, I don't know what this is up to now, but when I was watching this, this was like going up in real time. Like it was like 404, 4, I mean, it was like, 309 up to 403, which is where you can see it at, but it just kept going and going and going. So I have no idea what it's at now, but you can see Kevin Mack started this petition. It says, Andrew Windsor is a disgrace to keep the title of the Earl of Inverness of Scotland. Should be stripped of this title. It's a stain on this city. He's lost his military titles. Not Should be allowed to keep this one. He's facing serious allegations. Any association is beyond rational comprehension. Any sane person would agree. Fill out the form. Make sure he gets booted on out of here. So I think that, you know, Prince Andrew is going to be in it for a long haul. We know that the defense attorney, I'm sorry, the plaintiff's attorneys for Virginia Gouffre and uh, that whole side of this uh, inquiry is going to continue on without any breaks now that the judge has said case is not dismissed. Sorry, Prince Andrew, that immunity deal that you thought applied to you doesn't apply to you. You are now fair game. And the investigation will continue. And so I hope that you join us as we continue to follow along. I'd love it if you subscribed here. We have been following the Prince Andrew Galen Maxwell case for a long time. We're going to continue to do so because we may even be having a new trial in the Galen Maxwell case. A lot is left to be revealed. I hope you subscribed. Stick around because I look forward to seeing you on the next one.